delegation takes the floor to exercise its right of reply to refute Pakistan's juvenile propaganda to malign India through fabricated lies full of deceit and deception. We condemn the unwarranted comments made by Pakistan on the judgment of the Supreme Court of India. The judgment is about the rule of law, equal respect for all faiths, concepts that are alien to Pakistan and its ethos. So while Pakistan's lack of comprehension is not surprising, their pathological compulsion to comment on our internal affairs with the obvious intent of spreading hatred is condemnable. Mr. President, the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh have always been, are, and shall always be an integral part of India. And this includes the territory that is currently under the illegal and forcible occupation of Pakistan. UNESCO's membership is well aware of its constitution, which states that, with a view to preserving the independence, integrity, and fruitful diversity of the cultures and educational systems of the member states of the organization, the organization is prohibited from intervening in matters which are essentially within their domestic jurisdiction. Sadly, in flagrant violation of UNESCO's constitution, its ethos, mandate, and practices, Pakistan's intervention did precisely that. Pakistan's intervention is an interference in India's internal affairs. It is unacceptable and we reject it. Mr. President, for us, the most important fundamental right is that of right to life. Globally, the single largest threat is this right to this right is from terrorism. Tragically, the reality facing us is that Pakistan is the world's largest producer and exporter of this evil.